Then they blame it on heavy metal, you know. I don't know if you remember that, but from that old incident there, some years back, uh, Judas Priest, one of the headbanging bands, somebody played a song and after that, and they killed themselves, and so they blame suicide on uh, heavy metal. If it's murder, they tend to blame rap these days, but it's never the parents. Do you ever notice this? Parents apparently play no part in the development and outcomes of these kids. Parents, you know, they can raise a kid apparently 11, 12, 13, 14, 50 years. If he turns out fucked up, boy, they had nothing to do with that. Must be those kids at the parking lot hangs around with. Parents got to be among the most full of shit people in the world. Well, they always have been, top to bottom, front to back. Listen, it in fairness, it comes with the job. If you want to be a parent, you got to be full of shit at least half the time. Look at it this way. They have it both ways. If the kid turns out to be a loser, they had nothing to do with that. But boy, if he's a winner, got a scholarship or something like that, man, they're the first ones out there raising their hands trying to take a little credit. It's a nice state of mind if you can talk yourself into believing it. But these are the kind of things I think about when I'm sitting home alone during an electrical storm, waiting for the parole officer to give me a call. And these ideas, these ideas come floating into my head, just floating right in, unbidden. I'm not asking for these things. I'm a vessel. I'm a mere vessel. Whoosh, in comes these thoughts. And some of them are a little offbeat. I'm going to grant you that. I was thinking about these younger women who got buried today. Did you ever think about them? Probably not. But I was thinking about these younger women who died three or four days ago, got buried today. And some of them had a bad heart, you know. Some of them had a bad kidney. But a lot of them had perfectly good pussies. Good pussies, nice tits, reasonably tight assholes, going to waste in the ground. It just seems a shame to me that some fine young pussy should be rotten away six feet under. Because you'd think, you would think, in this era, that if you can donate a heart To someone who needs one, there ought to be a way to recycle some of these pussies and get them to people who need them. Some old guy living up in the mountains. Wow. Holy shit, look at this fucking thing. This is great. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God, God, you're doing God's work. I hope you know that, don't you? Hey, this is better than Publishers Clearinghouse. Listen here, buddy. Uh, you ain't got a redheaded one of these by any chance, do you? Uh, no, I didn't think so. I never run into one of them myself. Thank you very much. Now, listen here. This is the real thing, ain't it? This ain't one of them store-bought pussies to the adult bookstore. Huh? What's that? Oh, okay. Hold on just a second. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ on the cracker. That's the real fucking thing. I'd recognize that some bitch anywhere. That's straightened out my nose hairs. I better get this sucker home and get in the refrigerator as quick as I can. The Save a Pussy Foundation. Give the gift that keeps on giving. Fuck the whales. Save the pussies. But you wouldn't want to, oh, maybe. You wouldn't want to save all of them. Not all of them. Some of them's wore out. Oh, you wouldn't want one of them big old rubbery things. That ain't no good. What you want is, you want you something nice and tight but flexible. Maybe you'd have an age limit or a mileage check. You know, you figure out the average length of the average dick, the average number of thrusts per event, the average number of events per lifetime. You got that lady's mileage. And you women, I don't want you to think we're going to leave you out of the fun. We're going to get you a nice set of cock and balls, okay? We'll get you something nice just after rigor mortis is set in. Tell the truth, ladies. Wouldn't you like a nice set of cock and balls without all the bullshit that comes with them? Huh? Fucking A. We'll get you something nice. You keep it on the nightstand. It's real easy to find in the dark. And if your mother comes over, put a hat on it. <laughs> well, somebody's got to think of these things. Apparently, I've been appointed. <laughs> I was dancing with a woman. She told me she had a yeast infection. I said, well, bake me a fucking loaf of bread. <laughs> Couple of corn muffins, a jelly donut. I don't give a shit. I'm always in the market for quality baked goods. You couldn't squeeze a birthday cake out of that thing by any chance, could you, huh? 
No, no, I didn't think so. No pressure, honey, no pressure at all. Why don't you just turn around and give me a nice pineapple upside down cake? And a dozen oatmeal cookies. Skip the raisins. Ixnay on the Azins Ray.